podcast tonight. We're back. So, um, for those of you who are new to us, we are the Sammy Nicole and Fifi show here on YouTube. And we are a dynamic mother-daughter duo. And on our show, we discuss all things love, life, relationships, and pop culture. From both the millennial perspective and the Generation X perspective. So tonight, Fifi, what are we going to be talking about? I can get a man cold at night. I can get a man at my age. Okay. No, you can get a man at your age. talking like sometimes she be ditching me y'all to talk to her boo but not to sound ages but it does show you like it doesn't matter like what age you are in life you can have somebody as long as I don't want to come off as ages but no nah, we, we don't want to come off as ages but it's just you know to think at her age she she still has it to pull her a man in a wheelchair yeah but she's still an attractive woman she's still vibrant very vibrant, Absolutely. very attractive. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Got a glow. But I, I do think it's interesting how, you know, you still have that desire throughout life. She still, you still enjoy the companionship, you know, of a partner. So I think that's really cool. Not to say that it's unusual. I guess you just don't see it that much. And I, and I think that I. Because we live in an age of society, I think. Yeah, and I'm just glad that she has that mindset. She wants, you know, to have her hair done, have her red lipstick. Yep. And, you know, want her, her nails painted. painted. Her nails painted. And want perfume. She want her smell good, as she say. And, you know, and I think I think it's helping her to actually live longer, be more vibrant. Happier. Happier. You know. And the reason why I say that, remember when summertime my mother would never go out because she always said it's too hot it's too hot I'm not going out there it's too hot yeah so one day my sister pulls up and he's outside with her man see a man will change your mindset mm. a man will have you doing things that you never thought you would do or could do now my mother wouldn't go outside the whole summer and sit outside this man said, come on, let's ride outside and let's have some conversation. Let's she go. was outside. She was outside. And was out there the whole summer. I had to call her and tell her, Mom, it's a zone alert. All older people need to be in. <laughs> Mom, that's aging. We said we weren't going to be aged. Now. Well, she is an older woman. <laughs> yeah, okay. And it was a, a heat zone alert okay. for older people. Okay. So I had to call her and tell her, don't you be sitting out there with your man. Because it's going to be hot today. Mm. So y'all stay on the inside and have y'all conversation. Okay. But I just I just think it's just wonderful. You know, at, 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 we're not going to be ages, but later in life, as you mature, you still, as a woman, you still have that desire to have companionship. And I think it's more companion. It's more companionship for yeah. her. Just having... You know, talking to someone that's well, I don't think he's her age. I think he's 72. I think he might be 77. I think he's in his late 70s. Okay. Okay, but I think that it's good for her. It's healthy for her, you know? Yeah. For her to have somebody that she can, you know, talk to and they can relate to, to one another. And not only that, he buys her things as well. As he should. The game don't change, just the players. He should. So, Absolutely. You can get, you can have companionship at any any age. It doesn't matter 
how old you are, if you have the desire and the mindset. I mean, and he's, I think he's attract, he's attracted to her. To her. To her. To her. I, I think that he sees it more than a companionship. I don't know. He likes my mother and my mother likes him. Right. Because this is the first time she hadn't seen anything negative. My mother was married to my daddy for 40 years. first man that I hadn't heard her say anything next. She hadn't been bitter about it. You know, she usually has things to say. I don't like him. He is. He Not this one. So, I can get a man to engage. Engage? And I think that's good because a lot of times women we feel like at a certain age or society more so makes us feel like once we right. hit a certain age or hit the wall, right. we're no longer desirable and, you know, we're, you know, more likely to be alone, we have less prospects, which that doesn't necessarily always have to be the case, especially if you take care of yourself and you keep yourself up, you can find love at any age, if that's what you desire, if that's what you desire, mm -hmm. and I don't think she was you know, looking for no man. I think no. I think he just happened to come to the facility and they you know, they had something in common. Right. And and even though this may not pertain to them, we do have to kinda stop shying away from or overlooking the fact that just because somebody's older that doesn't mean they stop having sexual desires. It doesn't mean that they stop having sexual desires. And there are, you know, elderly who are still sexually active. I'm not saying she might. I'm not saying she probably do. I don't think she acting on it. Probably not. But elderly, you I know, know. she's not. Yeah, she's not. Okay, relax. Dang. <laughs> she's getting all defensive and stuff. Anyway, what I was saying was... You know, there are elderly adults who are still sexually active. I mean, I think, in fact, they do tend to have a high prevalence of STDs. Um, not to say that pertains to them, but I'm just speaking, you know, from an educational standpoint, just generally speaking. Right. So it's good to know, like, just because you get older doesn't mean you stop being a human. Doesn't mean oh, you no. stop, you know, having desires because, you know, we do live in an age of society. Sometimes we forget, like, there's still people that still have desires. Yes. We still want companionship. And, still, and I think that's what it is for her. She wants, she wants companion. She still wants companionship. Yeah, and I think she, it's good for her quality of life, like you said. Yeah, and I think I think it's because her she has a glow, and she my mom's always been spunky, mm -hmm. but she's extra spunky. Yes, and for those of you who don't know what ageism is, it's basically discriminating um, against someone because of their age. And that can be younger or older. Mm-hmm. But mm -hmm. we're not doing that. We're just talking. You know, I, she's 80. I mean, she'll be 80 in a few months. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she, she she's attracted to this gentleman, and he's attracted to her. And I just think it's so cute, you know? And I, I just don't like how she dissed us, though. And she, you know, she don't want to be bothered with us. Yeah, much. she want to be fucked with her And she don't want you to ask her anything about him. No. No, 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 no. So, but I just think it's so cute, you know, and it just, you know, so to, you know, it's never too late. It's never, never too late to find love to or find have a love boo. Or have a boo. Or be booed up. Be booed up. Mm-hmm. You know, so they spend a lot of time together. They do. She know a lot about him. Yeah, he knows a lot about her. He does. He so does. I'm just happy. So we just want to do this video just to see what you guys think. You know, do you think that at a certain point in life that it's too late to find love? Or you should stop being concerned with it? Or Yeah. But my mom is 80 and she booed up. She booed up. Cuffing season. Cuffing season. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> You know, I gotta get on it. <laughs> it's never too late. <laughs> it's never too late. And, and she didn't go looking for a man. Yes, that's a good point too. It came to her it came organically. To her organically. She that's, that that requires patience though. She 
wasn't looking for a companionship. She wasn't looking for somebody that she had something in common. You know, he just came to the facility and they started talking. My mom is a people person anyway. She, yeah, she is. Yeah, she, outgoing, so she'll talk. And I'm sure that, you know, he said that he was attracted. I don't think he said he was attracted. Yeah, he to said her. If, if she was up and walking, he sure wish he could have got to her. And she was up on her feet. I was like, oh, okay. And then she was like asking me to show him pictures of her when she was pretty and young. I was like, oh, y'all think down in the comment section do y'all grandma have a boyfriend if so how do y'all feel about it if Your she nana, doesn't if she did have somebody would mama. you be tripping you know like let us know what you think because this ain't uncommon not at all no she just come i think the reason why she don't like to tell all the tea about her boo she come from a generation where y'all keep y'all business to y'all yeah, she not gonna tell you nothing about her man no she ain't gonna do that that's private you know what they talk about she say she, she say she talking to him about being saved mm. his life over to the Lord. Mm. She said that's what the conversation she said. Sure. <laughs> She's sure. So we leave it at that. We leave it at that. Not going to be messy. We don't question her. No. She so leave it at that. We just leave it. Okay, Ma. Mm -hmm. She's trying to get him saved and bring him closer to the Lord. That's Close, uh -huh. And every time we ask her about him, she like to play like she forgot, like she can't remember, she don't know who we're talking about. A mess. But yeah, y'all, y'all let us know down in the comment section what you Since think about. Since we just told all my mama did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought it was so cute. And it's YouTube so YouTube street revelant to dating, you know. Mm -hmm. She's dating. Actually, she's dating. Would you call it dating? No, you haven't took her out nowhere. He needs to take her out on a date, honey. He take her out to eat. He might. But she better call me before she go anywhere with a man. Uh-uh. She grown. She almost 80 some years care. old. She better not you leave. can't take away her autonomy. She, she better, better not leave you. out of there with not, without telling me or uh, my uh, auntie. Okay. So, yeah, y'all. Anything else she got to say? I don't know that man like Yo, that. future stepdaddy. Mm. <laughs> You good, sis? I'm good. Okay. Well, yeah, y'all. Let us know what y'all think. Um, dating uh, in old age. What are your thoughts about it? Do you think the dating rules change? Or have you ever thought about what that would look like, you know, once you get to that point in your life? Um, so let us know down in the comment section. Also, guys, please, please, please. I know a lot of y'all be lurking. A lot of y'all be watching, but y'all won't subscribe, and I'm tired of it. Just hit the subscribe button. Like, it's free 99, okay? It don't cost no money to subscribe. Y'all already on our channel anyway, trying to get the tea, trying to piece things together. So please, just subscribe, okay? <laughs> Thank you. And on that note, I'm Sammy Nicole. Guys, we appreciate you watching. This is Fifi. Bye.